Why do I need to perform air sampling? To verify chemical exposures are at safe levels. To ensure government compliance. How do I take an air sample? Active air sampling involves three things. One, a sample pump to pull air. Two, sample media through which to pull the air. And three, a pump calibrator to indicate and verify how much air is pulled. To sample particles such as dust, mists, fumes, and smoke, filters in cassettes are the typical sample media. The cassette is prepared and loaded into a convenient holder that secures the cassette. The holder can be clipped in the worker's breathing zone. The sample media is then attached using connecting tubing to a pump that has been calibrated to the recommended flow rate. To sample gases and vapors, sorbent tubes are the typical sample media. The glass sorbent tube is prepared and inserted into a holder. A protective cover is installed to prevent the tube from breaking. The holder can be clipped in the worker's breathing zone. The sample media is then attached using connecting tubing to a pump that has been calibrated to the recommended flow rate. Personal sampling is performed by placing the pump on the worker and the sample media in their breathing zone to measure individual exposure. Area sampling is performed by placing the pump and sample media in a specific location to determine concentration levels at a specific or fixed point. Passive sampling is a simple alternative for sampling some gases and vapors because a pump is not required. The worker simply wears a small badge-like sampler that collects airborne chemicals by diffusion. SKC provides passive samplers that have been scientifically validated to ensure reliable sampling of target compounds. What happens next? Ship samples to a laboratory. The laboratory analyzes the samples. Compare results to exposure limits established by regulatory authorities or other agencies. In summary, perform air sampling for safety and compliance using a sample pump and sample media. Check the flow rate with a pump calibrator. Use a passive sampler if reliable sampling has been verified for the target compound. After sampling, send samples to a laboratory for analysis and then compare results with established exposure limits. SKC offers training materials on media selection for published methods and sampling instructions. Visit www.skcinc.com and click on Training. Thank you.